Patrick Stewart Macmillan. Thank you, President Officer. To ask the First Minister what the Scottish Government's response is to the latest household waste statistics from SEPA, which show a small reduction in household recycling in 2020 compared to 2019. First Minister. Well, it's obviously disappointing to see the 2020 household recycling rate fall back, but we must acknowledge the unprecedented and challenging uh, year for everyone, including local authorities, as a result of COVID. Uh, SEPA believes that the COVID lockdowns and unavoidable disruption to recycling services, including the closure of recycling centres for a period of time, had an impact on local recycling rates. However, despite challenges, curbside recycling actually increased during 2020, and I know local authorities worked really hard to keep priority services going throughout the pandemic, and I want to thank staff for all of their efforts. Uh, we are determined to accelerate progress to meet our waste reduction and recycling targets, and the Minister for Circular Economy recently announced a £20.3 million uh, worth of landmark investments from the Recycling Improvement Fund to help deliver a step change in our recycling. Stuart McMillan. I thank the First Minister for that reply. And clearly, recycling is just one way that we actually can reduce our impact on the planet. And it is obvious that the COVID-19 pandemic has had a negative impact upon local authorities, including Moen and Inverclyde, and their recycling activities, which now makes it even more important that we need to try to reuse or upcycle items even before recycling. Can the First Minister indicate what assistance is available to local authorities to actually help them to improve their recycling capabilities, including any funding to help with capital investments? And what can the Scottish Government do to assist businesses, including small businesses such as in Verico in my constituency, that want to adopt a circular approach to their products so that they remain in use for longer? First Minister. Well, as I said in my original answer, the £20 million uh, worth of investments from the Recycling Improvement Fund uh, marks the beginning of one of the, the biggest investments in recycling uh, seen in Scotland in a generation, and that will support local authorities and, by extension, uh, businesses, uh, including small businesses. It will also make it easier for households to recycle more and drive up rates of recycling. It is estimated that the investment has the potential to reduce CO2 emissions uh, by 21,400 tonnes a year, which is the equivalent of taking more than 11,000 cars off the road. Uh, Zero Waste Scotland also provides a range of support to businesses to help them develop circular economy approaches. Uh, that includes support for design, remanufacturing and skills development, uh, supporting innovative projects that deliver carbon savings, uh, leverage investment and create jobs. Uh, final two points. I think uh, while it is disappointing that we saw uh, the recycling rate fall back during COVID. I would repeat again that we did see an increase in curbside uh, recycling and also in 2020 the amount of waste going to landfill uh, was at its lowest level uh, since records began. So there are uh, reasons there to be uh, encouraged but we need to do more to maintain progress.